How's it going, everybody? It's the one and only J Weapon X coming to you live from the Danger Room, and man, it has been a while. I am feeling a whole lot better, uh, considering the last video that I made. But uh, I know we were said we were done ripping this product, but obviously we're not. And this has been a long time coming because my local Walmart finally decided to get these bad boys on the shelf, and I finally got me. Probably the last product I will review of this series. Uh, Mega boxes. So we've done hangers, we've done blasters, we've done um, hobby boxes. Um, I've yet to ever do a jumbo box. Maybe one of these days. Maybe series two we will. But um, I haven't done fat packs just because, I don't know, fat packs um, are kind of hit and miss. But I've seen people pull some awesome stuff from fat packs. I know the biggest hits we've gotten were from hangers, um, but I do like to review kind of most of the products, and I know this product is seems to be really, really good. We did Fanatics Hobby Blaster Boxes, which were pretty cool, so so now that we've got uh, Mega Boxes, yeah, I mean, it's equivalent to almost two Blaster Boxes, but it's almost equivalent to... I mean, if you buy two of these, it's almost the same equivalent as getting a, a hobby box. And you're paying it for cheap. Plus, you know, you're getting almost the same amount of cards. Uh, you are looking for... These do have their own parallels, just like any other product. So these do have the foil board cards, which are really nice. It does have a unique uh, Megastar insert, which is pretty rare to get. But you are getting 16 packs. You are getting 14 cards per pack. So you are getting 224 cards total. And that's maybe like 10, 15 cards less of a hobby box almost. So if you buy two, it is, it'd be like almost buying, like I said, two, two hobby boxes. And you're getting some different parallels and stuff. But yeah, you got all the same stuff, you know, some uh, the 2023 Tops All-Star. I have yet to hit a Lumber, I have yet to hit a Mother's Day, I have yet to hit an Independence Day, or Father's Day, uh, uh, even just a um, home field advantage, you know, so. I've hit pretty good number cards, I have pretty good some parallels. Uh, I say the biggest hit I've gotten was an Evan Carter, um, I think, uh, Rainbow Foil. Which is pretty cool. One of the top guys. But I've yet to get anything from Ellie. Or if you had to pull an autograph. I haven't pulled an autograph in a long time. So let's go ahead. In, in light of baseball just being a week away. Let's go ahead and rip this product. So hopefully we get some. Wish me some luck. Now I know I've, I've done a retail box before. And I did a retail box of Tops. 2022 um, update series and that was pretty fun so all right so you are getting quite a bit of packs man so all right let's go ahead and uh, let's get this done man so wish everybody luck 14 cards per pack and we're basically going to fly through the theme because you pretty much know what the cards look like. You know, nothing really too extravagant. Gonzalez, Strom, Vedar, Grissom, Joey Votto in an 89, which is a pretty good one. I like that. I am trying to complete the, the MLB in, in the Chrome. I pretty much do have my, my top, uh, my set pretty much made out for uh, for uh, my set build and now it's just kind of getting the little cards here and there just to complete like the the chrome all chrome of uh, stars of MLB so yeah Santos hopefully we'll have a great 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 year with the Mariners all right these I'm always looking forward to getting uh, Francisco Lindor home run challenge. I'm pretty much collecting and banking on a lot of those, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna look really forward to getting at least try to win one 
of those I've yet to win. But I hope you guys are doing doing good. I it's been quite a while. Like I said, I was sick and I finally got over my sickness and stuff. So there we go. Here's one of those foil boards. Those are pretty awesome. And it's a ooh, it can really an Adolis Garcia. That's not bad. Adolis Garcia and a foil board. These are pretty neat. I think he's going to do pretty good this year with the Texans. It's going to be quite a good, good, good race for the, the AL West. They are not numbered, but you can get some that are numbered. Those are you know, really cool foil boards. Adolis Garcia. All right. All right. Bryce Harper, Jazz. So, hopefully, you guys are having a great day. I recently got off work. I saw these, went straight to my local Walmart, and I was like, finally, they have these things out, you know? Just because, like I said, I like to review pretty much everything that I can, you know, of the product, just so you know what you're getting. Uh, Grand Gales, uh, Kari Ostrimsky. MLB. It is a retail product, so you will still be getting those ML stars of MLB. Uh, still pretty much getting all the same inserts. Yeah. I think after this product, I will go send some stuff in. Uh, just because I have a few things that Ken Griffey relic that I pulled. I still have that, so... Spring training wrapping up, which is pretty... Alright, we got a Mookie. In an 89, that's a pretty good one. I don't have that one. Martinez, Batista, Uber. So, yeah. How about you guys? Are you guys excited for uh, baseball? I know I am. I'm definitely going to be hitting up one of my homeboys. We're going to go check out our our local uh, AAA. Their opening day. Sign. There we go. First number card. Here we go. Will Castro in a gold. Those are numbered to 244 for the twins. I haven't pulled anybody significantly on a gold except for series one last year when I got a when I definitely got a a Michael Harris gold, which I thought was pretty neat. Um still haven't sent that in, so I know he was he was not one of those. He was like the number three rookie to chase at the time in Series 1 last year. It was more about Gunner and, and Adley and stuff like that. And So when you pulled him, it was just kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, foil boards are still backwards, so that's pretty cool. Jake Rogers in your foil board. So I, I got an Evan Carter in that, so that's pretty cool. I've yet to pull a parallel of this dude. You know, I heard just... Anything with him is pretty damn tough to do. Hanger boxes, I was looking forward to getting like a yellow. And then in the Fanatics boxes, I was looking to get an aqua in him. But, you know, who knows? People just seem to have a lot more luck than I do. Um, yeah, here we go. There's our other foil board. All right. And the Jordan Westberg. This is the second time we've got a parallel of this guy. Uh, Jordan Westberg. I say like number six, maybe number seven, and one of these top prospects. I got him in uh, in my hobby box in one of those nice. Uh, what do you call it? Those uh, silver pack parallels, which are pretty cool. Let's kind of zoom into that. Uh, Acuna. I've yet to get an Acuna anything. It's always cool to get anything with Acuna, anything with Shohei, but now, ooh, you don't know, Shohei is kind of like in a little pickle. Supposedly his interpreter was making bets on games or something. I don't know how true. All right, Corbin Carroll, sweet. Definitely one of those ones I need in a Chrome. 
that I can get rid of his base and, you know, put that in. Acuna, I have this one already. Judge, Cease, your Ruiz. So, I don't know how true that is. Don't really know. But, you know, we'll see as it goes on. We don't really know. But anyway, getting back to where I'm looking forward to going to our AAA thing. All right, Acuna. I don't have this one. So that's pretty cool going to my 89 set. Um, used to be called the Dukes. Now are the Isotopes. They are Colorado Rockies affiliate. Used to be the Diamondback affiliates back in the day. Then that changed, so that was kind of a kind of a bummer. Just because I live in New Mexico, you're either a Rockies fan, you're either uh, Rockies fan, you're a what do you call it? Oh my God, Diamondbacks fan, stuff like that, or you're either I don't know. Everybody just seems to like the Yankees, Red Sox, and stuff. I always just like no. Back in my day when I started really getting into baseball, it was all about Ken Griffey. That's why I'm a Mariners fan, so I'm not like everybody else here. <laughs> so I've always been a Ken Griffey fan, so I've been a big fan of Seattle for a long time. Yeah, all right, there's our other one, Henry Davis. Well, so far we're hitting on these uh, these foils. They're not bad. They're pretty good. At least we're getting some rookies. Uh, Henry Davis for the Pirates. Uh, not really one of the top three, but still really, really good prospect, I think. You know, a lot of things could change for sure as the season goes on. And they just pop. These uh, four boards look really nice. I mean, look at that. They just, they just glisten, so... At least you're getting some pretty good parallels. So, pretty much having pretty good fun. I haven't got, oh, we got a JP. It is backwards. What is this? <laughs> All right. I think we've already got a JP in a, in a uh, foil, rainbow foil. That's my my homie, J.P. Crawford. Ellie, Blueprint. So that's always a good one. Corbin, Wong, Ventos. Pulling a gold mirror. So I think that was another big thing from the hanger box that we pulled. All right. Montero, Cal. Hit a pretty good home run on our game against Sephiroth, who we were playing. But uh, I think he's ready. Definitely ready for the season. The big dumper is ready to go. Lou Bob. And an 89. Julio. We need the Julio Chrome. That's what I need. Yep. All right. Down to our last three packs. This may be a very short video. Which is all good. I don't mind, you know, Clay Holmes, Duran, Wheeler, Moreno, Bryant. I actually saw Chris Bryant back with our affiliate in the games. I think he was sent down to do something. All right, Mookie in our Chrome. I do need his Chrome, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dang Dunn, Spencer Strider. So far, only one number card. So I'm assuming with these, you can get two. Or you can get a relic of some sort. But I think you are getting four foil boards. So that's cool. Hassan Kim, Jordan Westberg. Uh, Manessas. Hey, there you go. We have been hitting the kid in this product. A Ken Griffey Jr. That is an awesome one. I like the fact that they're celebrating the kid. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Definitely these. Our four boards did not disappoint. That is awesome. 
love the kid. Always be a fan of the kid. He is my all-time favorite player. And uh, still looking to complete that set. The celebration of the kid set. So, yeah. All right. Uribri. And our last pack. Thank you guys for just tuning in and checking this out. I know it was a quick rip. These mega boxes really didn't disappoint, but you know, you know, it makes me think, and maybe I should get another one just for the hell of it. You know, we got a retail blue, Kyle Schwarber blue. So we are still getting the retail stuff. Altuve don't have that, so I don't think I'm completing that one. Freeman and nothing else. All right, so. Let's kind of go over the hits we got. So we only got one number card. That is for sure. Um, you pretty much are getting all the same stuff. You did. You do get a lot of inserts. That's for sure. You are getting a pretty good amount of the inserts. We only got one home run challenge card. I've seen a lot of people getting two in a hobby box, in a mega box, but. All right, so let's go over. You are getting your typical stars of MLB. I got almost all of them. Um, your typical inserts and stuff. So, Retail Blue, Kyle Schwarber, JP Crawford, Rainbow Four, Jake Rogers, um, Acuna in. All Star Team in LA Blueprint, Altuve Greatest Hits, Yastrzemski, our 89s, which are the ones that I'm trying to complete. I finally got me an Acuna, a Mookie, and a Votto. I think those are the ones I really needed for that set. Um, yeah, I got two Chromes, Mookie and Corbin Carroll, which is pretty good. Now I'm trying to complete that set as well. Um, we got one number card. Will Castro for the Twins, number two, 244, 499. Gold, which is pretty good. And Adolis Garcia in our, our rainbow foil. This, you know, for the foil boards, which are pretty neat. Henry Davis, so we got a rookie in the foil board, which is not bad. 89 foil board for the Pirates. That's not bad. Jordan Westberg, who I've got a parallel of already, another rookie for the for the Orioles. I think they're just gonna have a really good year. And I, what I personally think is the big hit, just because I'm a Ken Griffey, I'm a Mariners fan. So this Ken Griffey '89 foil board, which is pretty damn cool. So I've hit quite a bit of stuff uh, getting with Mariners and such, but um. Recently, just because I haven't gotten anything significant or I got some stuff, but I really do want to send some stuff to get graded just because I've this is really good. But I did manage to get this bad boy. I picked this up on eBay and it's a Ichiro Mariners numbered to 150 blue in the silver parallel and those uh what do they call it silver pack parallels so that's a pretty good one i like that just because i'm a huge mariners fan and just because i i love it i went ahead and bit the bit the bit the bullet and got me this jp crawford independence day parallel 11 out of 76 independence day and that is an awesome just I, I just love JP Crawford. I think he's very underrated, especially for the Mariners. Um, he did a lot for us last year. He stepped it up, especially when Julio was struggling. And I know that's kind of the thing about people in analytics. They always hype up the big guy. Like I know Julio is destined to be the face of our franchise, but you know, he had a sophomore struggle, and that was kind of tough for him last year, so JP came in and stepped it up. He really did. And he uh, gave us kind of almost a memorable run kind of towards the end when we played the Texans. And 
you know, I look for a lot of good things. I think he's finally started coming to her own. He is definitely one of the vets in that lineup that I know they look up to. And I hope to one day meet this guy. I think he's just a really cool dude. Um, didn't get as much love when he was in the Phillies. Uh, they expected a lot from him, but, you know, figured he wasn't delivering. Then he went to the Mariners and, you know, he, he's done tremendous work, I think. And he stepped it up. He hit some pretty good home runs last year. And, yeah, he came up in really good clutch situations. So, But I'm looking forward to this this year. Luke um, getting back Mitch Anniger, Luke Rayleigh getting um, Mitch Garver. Um, we got Ryan Stanek, which is pretty crazy. So our, our lineup, bullpen lineup is just, it, it's nasty. It's like one of the best, I think, in baseball. And just the fact we've got Julio, JP, Cal, uh, we got Jorge Polanco. And like I said, Luke Grayley and all of these guys cutting down a lot of on our strikeout stuff. So I'm looking for a big thing. I am, I'm looking don't count the Mariners out. A lot of people do, and I know it's been a long time coming, but I think we're ready. I think we're definitely ready for our shot at a pennant, you know, something like that. I really, I really hope, you know. So, once again, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like this product, let me know. Let me know if you guys pull anything significant. I know it's very tough, especially when it comes down to it, but... I do like to review pretty much all the product that it comes out in certain things, just like we did with football. We did blasters, we did hangers and stuff. So, yeah, so definitely these are some of the big cards I will be sending in just because for my own personal PC and stuff. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day, and I hope you guys are looking forward to baseball just as much as I am. So until <laughs> then, you guys keep cool and uh, have a great baseball day and have a great weekend and have a great uh end of the month coming up and i hope you guys have a great easter um if you celebrate easter and whatnot so so then peace out be good to each other and latest